The Amazons can have maneuvers count as missile hits. It will. Mm. And when you have an figure, eight face, figure, you control that you eight face with out, double maneuvers, you know, double saves. That, that, that means you can really crank a lot shit. of missile damage. Your home terrain will be in this circle, all right? Now these two guys are gonna be up here as uh, a frontier, okay? So you are gonna have your guys here at home, and then you're going to have a guy by himself on the frontier. And then you're gonna have these guys over here at his home. Yeah. You have your home army here, Smurf. Got it? You have a campaign army out here. Justin, and here's your horde. Top row is heavy infantry, and then after that, light infantry. So those are your fighters. So those are the ones I want to send depending on how close I am. Well, you'll, you'll see you'll see a series of icons on them that dictate how strong they are doing a certain thing. Melee, or saves, or you want to have missile. Hey, here's your choices. For coral elf monsters, there's a coral giant. All Griffin. Of, okay, good choice. Excellent choice. Do you know why? He has the ferry boat, and that ferry will allow him to go run off and grab other soldiers and bring them back right away. 24 health. And that's how you build a basic good army. You should have a little mix of magic and other dudes that really specialize in a You always uh, start skill. at 24? For a basic uh, demo? Yeah, well, no. So we usually play 36 health or bigger three. in regular games, but to teach you the basics, I'll show you a, a 24 yeah, That's point a big level. one, so 3, and then... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's 23 health. You can have one more dude. These dudes generate magic. They're all in the magic class, so I've set them all separate. I've picked on a bunch of hot archers who do major missile damage, because that's what they're super good at. So, on these, what am I looking for first in these dice? Because I see, like... You're looking for separation of abilities. So Keep the magicians over here, keep the other fighters over here. That's and the first thing you want, is to understand these will generate these types of results, and these guys will t make these but kinds of But these guys have swords, so they're infantry. They have the ability to do that. Your maneuvers will be either horseshoes or boats, and your saves is that big buckler. But most of the game is built around knowing these normal icons. What maneuvers? Maneuvers and magic and melee, melee and missile, missile you can get. magic. And maneuver. saves. Here's a nice surprise. Guess what, guys? Everyone has a face? Well, the face is wild card. It counts as anything you want. Anytime you roll the face, it's yours. So this face is this face is worth two because it's a two health unit. So now you guys are ready to play. All right, you ready? You two guys trying to find out which of these two dice is going to get up to eight first under your control. But the game begins by randomly rolling to see what the hell number will be. All right. Too bad you didn't get anything. You put your horde back here. And put your horde back. Put your you. horde. Yo, don't tell me what to do. The evil horde, All armies right. of darkness. The icon on on the top face tells you what you're legally supposed to do on your march. Your turn is divided into two marches at two locations. You got three choices, right? You got three acting One, armies. One, two, three. Yeah. So you're gonna make a first march and then a second march at different terrain. What you do is maneuver, and then act, and then you maneuver again at a different place, and then act. And then you get to go in the hide and reserves. You're gonna maneuver? Yeah. He's gonna maneuver. You're gonna counter? counter? Roll him. Roll him. Most maneuvers wins. Well, obviously, Daddy's gonna win. So, in my head, I know which way I'm going. In your head, you know, but you don't, you don't tell him out loud. Because he's worth four health. You know, he's one health bigger than the big guy, right? Yeah. And that is his ID icon, and it counts as wild. So, there's four. Five. Six. How much do you have? Justin? Three. Three. Four. Four. So it's four to six. All this other stuff is really nice, Justin, but this isn't what you wanted. I haven't even rolled anything and I'm already really losing. Easy. The battle is set. Ready? One from three, you take two damage. You have to take two health out of there. Now, you get to counterattack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Counterattack? Totally. Coral elves can count maneuvers as saves. Uh -huh. Get it? So even though you guys are naturally fragile as a race, all of your boats will save you. See the open hand? Yeah. That is instant magic that you get to buy right now. You have four points of magic points. Four saves out of six damage, so you lose two health of guys. No, those are your two marches. Okay. All right, now you get to retreat. You take guys and 
pull any of them out of this location or wherever they are, this one or this one, and they go and hide in reserves. And they stay out for one turn and you redeploy them later at different places. Four, five, six. Leave him here. There you go. Dead. Dang, that sucks me. There is no opponent here to melee with. So missile. So you can missile this distance. Alright, so magic. Also magic. Dragons are out of the game until they're summoned in by the magic spell. Everybody at that terrain will be victimized by the dragon. Everybody around the table is going to get hit by that dragon as long as it's alive at that terrain. Get it? Oh, so turn it, by just, turn. it just attacks the terrain. And everybody at that terrain. Why, why do I want to flash flood him when he's got a dragon? Because you'll just take away any possible winning condition that he could afford. Yeah, I just won for casting Wind Walk plus four. I mean, you you shouldn't have moved those reserves. I'm telling you, you should have kept your guys there. Never pull back.